What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Prairie State Patriots. We got something a little bit different today. We're going to be sighting in and playing with a custom Ruger 1022 build. It's a bit of a franken gun. It's not ultra high end. I got probably $600 in this before the optic. We got an ER Shaw barrel, a Faxon bolt and receiver, a Ruger BX trigger, and a Magpul stock and bipod. Topped off with a Vortex Crossfire 2 rimfire scope. And we're just going to see what it can do. So we're shooting a mashup of cheap bulk ammo, nothing fancy. We've got our target lasered out about 50 yards. We're gonna try to do a five shot group and just see how it looks. I need to move up. It's about three inches. All right, so here's our first group. Uh, I'll be first to admit I'm far from a rifleman, but we got three shots about touching with two flyers. Those two are definitely me. Um, we're gonna make some adjustments to the scope and go from there. All right, we made our scope adjustments. We're gonna try for group number two. until that was a bit high. I'll go down, I don't know, for about eight clicks. All right, we're gonna try group number three after some more adjustments. Alright, we're gonna go inspect the target and probably put a new one up just to confirm this is a decent zero. See how she looks. So this is our first five shot group, and then this is our second. It'd stand to come down just a hair, maybe a little to the left. I say I'm definitely not a marksman, but so far pretty good for a plinking gun. All right, so we've made some more adjustments. Let's see how it looks.
We're gonna make a couple final tweaks. And we'll do our final five shot group. I won't deny that someone more experienced than zeroing scopes probably have a lot easier time with this. But I do what I can. And there ain't no shame in it. Couple more adjustments. Just want to get it fine tuned and then we'll play with some steel. Keep in mind this is not high end ammo, it's not match rounds, it's not a match barrel, and I'm not a great rifleman. I know how I'm gonna load this time. We're just gonna do some head shots, that half size silhouette. Let's see if we can get the bad guy here. All right, go see how she looks. As you can see, we have nine of 10 shots here in the 10 ring with one flyer. Uh, seven rounds head shot from that last group. I mean, you got two touching here and two touching there. It's safe to say this rifle's more accurate than I am. I'm quite pleased with it as far as uh, plinking. And we'll get into our final rundown in a minute. So as you saw, this ended up being a very capable little rifle. I'm glad I went with the Sporter Contour barrel as opposed to a bull barrel. It's a lot lighter. You could pack this around the woods, make a good squirrel gun, I reckon. The Vortex Scope is a 2-7 to seven power. Definitely well suited for plinking or small game out to 50 yards. The trigger is what I'm most impressed with, the Ruger BX trigger. It is a 2.5 to 3.5 pound pull, very crisp break, short reset. Very good for a factory trigger. And as always, the Magpul furniture is just top notch quite pleased with it. If you want to see more content in the future, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I enjoy shooting. I think this uh, Ruger Trigger is a good value. I believe the BX Twigger Trigger is a 2.5 to 3.5 power. Ah, I f***ed that all up. I gotta start that over. <laughs> Twiggle. Twiggle.